Get ready for an incredible journey. Today, we're diving deep into the past. Not for T-Rex or Brachiosaurus, but for something much smaller. Meet Oculodentavis congri, a creature so tiny it could sit on your fingertip. This marvel was discovered trapped in amber, nature's time capsule, from Myanmar. Miners unearthed a small, cloudy piece of amber and inside was a perfectly preserved tiny skull. It's like a prehistoric jewel, a window into a lost world nearly 100 million years old. Scientists were stunned. This wasn't just any fossil, it was a complete skull, with details so fine you wouldn't believe it. Amber acts as a natural time capsule, trapping creatures like insects, plants, and even tiny vertebrates, preserving them in stunning detail. Thanks to this process we can see delicate structures like skin, feathers, and even eye tissues. The discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community. A dinosaur or something close to early birds this small, it challenged everything we thought we knew. The name Oculodentavis congri tells its own story. Oculus for eye, dentes for teeth, avis for bird, and congri honors the donor of the specimen. So, it's the eye-toothed bird. A fitting name for such a unique little critter. This fossil is a snapshot from a world we're only beginning to understand. It's a rush of excitement for paleontologists, a true scientific jackpot. Amber's preservation power gives us a rare, clear look at ancient life. Oculodentavis is a reminder that even the tiniest fossils can rewrite history. What a find. Just how small was Oculodentavis? Its skull was only about half an inch long, smaller than your pinky fingernail. Scientists estimate the whole creature was just a couple of inches from snout to tail, making it one of the smallest dinosaurs or bird-like dinosaurs ever found. We often picture dinosaurs as giants, but Oculodentavis reveals a hidden world of miniatures. Imagine something even smaller than a hummingbird, darting through ancient forests. Its body was likely featherlight, built for speed and agility. This tiny size opens up new possibilities for how dinosaurs lived and survived. Oculodentavis wasn't just a scaled-down dinosaur, it had a look all its own. Its skull was delicate, with a long slender snout and huge eyes for its size. It likely had feathers much like modern birds and other small dinosaurs. Picture a tiny feathered creature darting through prehistoric undergrowth, a true marvel. The discovery reminds us that dinosaur life was far more diverse than we imagined. There was a whole miniature ecosystem teeming with life, full of creatures adapted in unique ways. Oculodentavis is a tiny ambassador from this lost world urging us to look closer. Every new fossil, no matter how small, can change what we know. This little dino is a big star for that very reason. It's proof that paleontology is full of surprises. Sometimes the smallest discoveries make the biggest impact. Let's zoom in on the skull of Oculodentavis. Its eyes were enormous for its head size. Such big eyes suggest excellent vision, likely for spotting prey and dappled forest light. The bones around the eyes, called scleral ossicles, were spoon-shaped, a feature seen in some modern lizards, not dinosaurs. This unique structure may have supported its large eyes, which were probably more cone-shaped than bulging. Its vision was likely sharp and focused, perfect for a tiny hunter. Now the snout, long, slender and packed with over a hundred tiny, sharp teeth. These weren't for crushing bones but for gripping small, wriggly prey. The combination of a long snout and sharp vision made Oculodentavis a formidable hunter for its size. Every part of its skull was specialized for survival in a world of giants. It wasn't just a generic small animal, it was finely tuned to its environment. Its features are a testament to evolution's creativity. Oculodentavis is a stunning example of nature's intricate design. The details preserved in amber let us study these adaptations up close. This tiny skull tells a big story about life's diversity. What an incredible adaptation. The first Oculodentavis fossil was just a head, but scientists can infer more. It likely had a small, lightweight feathered body, perfect for its size. Feathers weren't just for flight, they helped with insulation and display. The tail wasn't preserved, but related species suggest it may have had a bird-like tail, possibly with a fan of feathers for balance or display. Its exact place in the tree of life is still debated. Was it a primitive bird, a dinosaur, or something else? Its skull and teeth are dinosaur-like, but its eye bones and size are unusual. Some studies even suggested it might be a strange lizard, but bird-like features keep it in the dinosaur-bird conversation. This debate shows how complex the fossil record can be. 
Oculodentavis is a mosaic of features, a puzzle for scientists. Each new fossil helps us piece together the story of life millions of years ago. This little creature keeps paleontologists guessing and that's fantastic. It's a reminder of nature's endless experimentation. Let's travel back 99 million years to the late Cretaceous, where Oculodentavis lived in what's now Myanmar. The world was warmer, more humid, and covered in lush, tropical forests. Amber tells us there were plenty of resin-producing trees creating a dense, vibrant ecosystem. Giant ferns, conifers, and early flowering plants formed the canopy, while insects buzzed everywhere. Oculodentavis shared its home with larger dinosaurs, lizards, amphibians, and early mammals. For a tiny creature, sharp senses and agility were crucial for survival. The amber deposits of Myanmar have preserved an incredible array of fossils. Feathered dinosaur tails, baby birds, strange insects, and more. Each discovery adds a new layer to our understanding of this lost world. Oculodentavis is one of the most captivating snapshots from this ancient photo album. It helps us piece together the puzzle of life during the Cretaceous. The diversity of life in these forests was astonishing. Oculodentavis thrived in a world full of surprises. Its story brings the ancient ecosystem to life. With its tiny size, huge eyes, and sharp teeth, Oculodentavis was likely an insectivore. Its teeth were perfect for gripping small, soft-bodied prey, like insects and spiders. The Cretaceous forests were buzzing with potential meals. Oculodentavis could have darted through undergrowth or flitted between branches snatching up bugs. Its slender snout may have helped it probe into crevices for hidden treats. Scientists deduce its diet from the shape and arrangement of its teeth. Its delicate jaws and sharp vision point to a life spent hunting tiny, active prey. Large eyes suggest it relied on sight to find food, much like modern visual hunters. Every feature points to a specialized miniature predator. Oculodentavis was a tiny terror to the insect world. Why does Oculodentavis matter? It shatters our ideas about dinosaur size, showing that miniaturization was possible alongside the giants. This fossil reveals that bird-like dinosaurs were experimenting with body size and ecological roles much earlier than we thought. Miniaturization opens up new opportunities. Tiny animals can exploit resources, and spaces larger ones can't. Oculodentavis is a missing puzzle piece, showing how life diversified in amazing ways. Its mix of dinosaur and bird features helps us trace the evolution of birds from their dinosaur ancestors. Amber's preservation gives us details rarely seen in other fossils. Oculodentavis encourages scientists to look closer at Amber for more tiny vertebrates. This little dino is a big deal. It unlocks giant secrets. Miniaturization is a fascinating evolutionary strategy, but it comes with challenges. Oculodentavis could hunt tiny insects and hide in places larger predators couldn't reach. Its agility was a huge advantage in dense foliage, but being small meant losing heat quickly and needing to eat often. Its large eyes and sharp teeth were perfect adaptations for its lifestyle. Feathers likely helped with insulation. Studying Oculodentavis helps scientists understand the limits of vertebrate size and complexity. How small can a vertebrate get and still function? Oculodentavis shows nature's inventiveness, packing complex life into a tiny form. It's a testament to life's adaptability. What's the big takeaway from Oculodentavis? This tiny creature preserved in amber is a superstar of paleontology. It proves the dinosaur world was full of miniature marvels, not just giants. Its unique features, huge eyes, toothy snout, delicate skull, paint a picture of a specialized insect hunter. Oculodentavis gives us a glimpse into a lost, miniature ecosystem. For scientists, it's a treasure trove, fueling research and debate. For all of us, it's a source of wonder, reminding us to stay curious and keep exploring. This tiny titan has left a huge mark on our understanding of prehistory. Its story will fascinate us for years to come.